Here we are once again, trying to solve a chess puzzle. Um, I don't see anything incredibly obvious. Um, checks is the first thing we look for, but that appears to be a bad idea. However, we will hold that in reserve just in case a queen sacrifice is what's called for. Another thing, the next thing we check for is captures. For example, I can capture this knight, but that leaves my queen exposed. So I think that's a bad idea. Um, I do need to do something with this bishop, however, because it's in danger. So I either need to... Uh, well, again, I can't move this bishop without endangering my queen. It is currently the buffer between the two queens. So it looks like I might lose this bishop. However, it's possible to create a greater threat. Um, for example, They might not want to take my bishop if I, say, move this pawn up, threatening their queen. If I can force the queen to leave, then I can maybe save the bishop or trade it off for this knight. So let's look at that, because I don't see any other captures. That's bad for reasons we discussed. This also hangs a queen or exchanges a queen for a rook, which is bad for me. Um... So I don't think any checks or captures are good, but a threat sometimes is just as good. Um, this moving the pawn here would threaten the queen. The pawn would be protected by these, both of these pieces. Um, however, moving this would cease to protect this pawn, but it would still be protected by the rook. So... That's my candidate move right now. No checks, no capture, so this is a threat. What would the queen do? That's what I have to ask myself anytime I'm going to do a, a check or a capture or a threat is then what is the opponent gonna do? In this case, it looks like the opponent will run away because they're not gonna go here because of the rook. They're not gonna go here because of the knight. They would not... Actually, yeah, I was going to say they wouldn't capture this because... But they would be... Wait, no, they wouldn't capture that because the knight would go. And they would lose a queen for a knight and a bishop. So they wouldn't go here because then I would just take it. So I believe that they will run back. So if I do this, the queen runs back. Then the question is, should I try to save the bishop by retreating it somewhere or trade it for the knight? I don't think I should trade it for the knight because of this. The pawn would take it or the queen would take it. And I would end up losing a bishop and a queen for a knight and a queen, which doesn't seem great. Okay, so that's my idea. I believe that White's queen will move here. And then... Where should I retreat the bishop? That's the question. I'm going to try this, though. I did not expect that. I should have expected that. I was just looking at queen moves. I did not think of this. That does not look good for me. Hmm. Because if I capture this, my rook is hanging along with check. And then my bishop is still hanging. If I capture here...
That's got to be it, right? Okay. Well, that took me way too long to solve. But let me see what happened here. I'm going to lose my bishop on the next turn, is my assumption. So that, how was that good? How was that the solution? I don't understand. I just lost a queen and a pawn for a queen and a knight, but I'm also going to lose the bishop. So I come out behind on this turn, right? I mean, I get the pawn back, probably. And I'll be left a, a piece ahead, but I was already a piece ahead. Was I not? Yeah, I was already a piece. I, I was already up a piece over the opponent. And I was up a pawn. But here I lost a pawn temporarily went up an extra piece. But yeah, they're I don't understand. And now I've spent seven minutes on one puzzle. Okay. That was incredibly... Um, then just this. Okay. Well, they threw in an easy one, I guess, to make me feel better. Um, I have a check here. They can block, but only temporarily because this rook also guards that square. The king, if they do not block after this check, the king cannot come here because of the other rook. Um, will be forced to one of these two squares. If it goes, if it goes to g7, I can. Wait, what was I thinking? No, if it, if it goes to... I don't know what I would do after that, but I think that's the first move. Okay, it went there. Should I go here? No, I shouldn't, because then I just lose the... What's the next move? Here? That's ridiculous. The... Okay, do I have something else? Yeah, because if I go here, I just lose a rook. So that's bad. Um, This is going to be a horrible puzzle-solving video, I can tell. Um, wondering if I shouldn't maybe move this knight here, which A, threatens that rook, and B, protects this square. But I I'm, I'm have a feeling that's not it. Oh, it was it. Okay. Um, then now I can just take this bishop. Oh, wait, now that rook's unguarded. So now do I trade rooks? Or do I say check? Here. I think I should say check here because this bishop is hanging. If I capture the rook there, the bishop takes my rook 
and then they still have a bishop. So I'm thinking I should go here. So if they capture, I also get the bishop, right? Oh, no. I'd have to capture there first, and then the bishop can get away. Okay. Capture here. They take back. Okay, and then I fork them. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, that took way too long, and especially the first puzzle, which I didn't understand the outcome of. Um, if you stuck with me, then thank you, and we'll keep going next time.